Uh, did you have any contact with the Bush administration before they went into office? But yes, I, 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 uh, I suggested to Governor Bush's first cousin that based on a telephone conversation I'd had with the, with the head of U.S. oil policy who reported to Secretary Richardson, uh, who had just returned from a trip to the Middle East, and she called and said, this is so much worse than you told us about. And I said, you might find this interesting. I said, now who's she? I said, she's the director of U.S. oil policy. What this means is we're on the verge of having a serious oil crisis, and it could happen between now and the election. So I hope there's somebody in Austin that is basically, uh, uh, you know, working on having some sort of a plan B, because Bush could basically mispronounce every country in the world, or president, nobody cares. But if he happens, oh no, there's no crisis, I just talked to Lee Raymond at Exxon, he'd be toast. And Jim said, geez, I don't believe there's anyone working on that. And the next morning I got this fine call from this guy, that, uh, the two of us ended up becoming great friends, and he said, he told me afterwards, they had, had sort of a damage control uh, in the campaign strategy team of all these friends of the Bush family that would call and say, you're worried about health care. I've got all the solutions. And they'd have to call him back. And, okay. So he, I got these, you know, see what this guy wants. And about 45 minutes later, he said, do you have anything you've written on this? And I said, how much do you like to read? And that started a dialogue that ended up with me basically uh, having the privilege and opportunity and, 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 and responsibility of editing every word that went into the comprehensive energy plan put forward by Governor Bush when he was running for office. And, and out of that came the, 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 the and then on the, on the eve of the inauguration, by then I'm basically sending, sending senior people in the, in the campaign strategy emails almost every day on, oops, here's another problem, oops, here's another problem. And uh, on the eve of the inauguration, uh, California had the worst blackout since World War II. And I, and I emailed Andrew Lundquist, who was, the, who was the guy that actually had been already appointed to be the kind of you know, point guy on energy in the White House. I said, well, Andrew, party tonight, but you guys have your work cut out for you. And the next day, I got this email back saying, well, for better or worse, you might be interested to know that this, the first meeting we had in the White House of the new team was the, was to get around their heads around these energy problems because they actually appear to be even worse than your worst nightmares. And within a, a week, they announced the Cheney Energy Task Force, which were all cabinet officers. Uh, so th did I have any contact with the Cheney Energy Task Force? No. Did uh, Andrew Lundquist and I you know, communicate by email as I would just keep him posted on, here's another problem you ought to be uh, worried about. But out of that came this, this rumor that somehow Dick Cheney and I were buzzing by. I don't know Dick Cheney. Uh, I, uh, so uh, I, I don't I don't know Bush well, but at least uh, you know if I if I saw Bush, he'd come over and say, and he'd ask me something about energy because every time I have seen him, he always does. Mm -hmm. 